The college experience is very different right now. I am one of many at Temple planning for a safe return for the fall. In a normal semester, we would have all of our classroom seats available, but when we adjust our classroom spaces to accommodate that six feet physical distancing, we are left with about 21.6% of our available seats. But Temple is going beyond that, and we are planning to offer courses in an array of formats. Students search the schedule all the time looking for classes that meet their needs. You might be used to searching by your department, or perhaps you're searching for certain days and times. Now you can use instructional method to look for classes that are either offered online or in person. The two types of online courses are online with required virtual meetings and online no scheduled meetings. The class that's offered online with required virtual meetings is often referred to as synchronous learning. This is a course that is meeting solely online, but there is a defined meeting pattern. There are certain days and times for which the students and the instructors will be together, perhaps over Zoom, but there are required meetings. Classes that are online with no scheduled meetings have no defined meeting pattern at all, and this is often known as asynchronous learning. We also have an array of types of classes that will have a in-classroom component. The majority of our in-person classes are listed in the course schedule as classroom, perhaps lecture, laboratory is another in-person type of course, or studio. We also have courses that might have a field work or independent study in-person component. We are also going to be offering classes in a hybrid format. These are classes that have a mix of in-person and online. And this is where our schools and colleges have been doing their most innovative work to get as many classes back on campus as possible. A class offered with the instructional mode of mix of in-person and online could be offered in different ways. Here are some examples. There might be a 250 person lecture class where the lecture is online, but students will be divided into smaller discussion sections for an on-campus discussion session class meeting. Another example might be a 60 person class where 30 students attend in person on Tuesday and 30 students are assigned to attend in person on Thursday. Look at meeting patterns to see what days your class is meeting in person and where. If it's a hybrid course, look carefully at which components are meeting in person and which components are meeting online. So many of our returning students have already registered for the fall semester. But just like any other summer, if you would like to adjust your schedule, you can do so. You can add and drop classes all the way through the add drop period, which continues through the first two weeks of the fall semester. If there's a particular course or section that you would like to switch to, and that section is presently full, you can use the waitlist function, as you can do in any semester, to indicate that you would like to be waitlisted for that section. If you have a health condition that supports the need for a reasonable accommodation, we encourage you to reach out to Temple's Office of Disability Resources and Services. If you have circumstances for which you may require or desire full or partial online schedule for this fall, you should reach out to your academic advisor or academic program coordinator to adjust your schedule accordingly. In any semester, students are encouraged to check their roster at the start of the semester or right before the start of the semester to look for any additional changes. It's not uncommon for a room assignment to be changed, for example, but students will be notified of any changes to their schedule going forward. Rebuilding the fall 2020 schedule wasn't easy, but it was important for us to be able to maintain that physical distancing in our classrooms to help mitigate the spread of COVID. We are all going to have to do our part, wear masks, physically distance, wash our hands, monitor our own health. We're in this together so we can be together.